What's going on, y'all? So let's what's going on everybody so we are back again for a whole new episode of love at the lockup aka life at the lockup season two episode 49 um the wife the girlfriend and the side chick listen listen i hate the way that they end this shit on the fucking cliff note the way that they did don't show stuff that's gonna happen in the previews on the commercial break coming up next in the episode, as if it's going to happen, knowing damn well we got to wait till next week to see this. Bitch, I was ready to see a fucking fight go down between Maria and goddamn Sarah, and it didn't even happen. So, we got to wait till next week, girl. I said, what the fuck? But, um, anyway, listen, let's just go through it, okay? Now, let's start off with Marcelino and Brittany, because I didn't even mention them. I didn't even care to mention them, partly because I forget, but then when I thought about it, it was like, girl, who cares, Okay. But, you know, I actually do like Britney at this point. Marcelino, you need to get your ass a job, okay? I don't give a fuck if you're a professional poker player. You know, you are literally playing um, Russian roulette with the finances. And at this point in time, you don't need to be doing that, okay? You know, last week, Britney had got a phone call from um, Marcelino's cousin who he said he was going over to his house to play poker and come to find out Marcelino was seeing a poker coach, okay, be to hone his skills, you know, get back, you know, um, fix his skills up or whatever, sharpen them up a little bit since he's been on a down street, okay? And so because of this, Brittany don't know where he's at. All she know is where he's not. Um, and so she all up in her feelings or whatever. So on this episode, we get Marcelino. He come up into the house, Brittany in the bed. She was like, so how was it? You know, Marcelino said, James ain't shit, you know, all this stuff and woo, woo, woo. So he lied. And I'm just sitting here like, why lie about it? Okay. My whole thing is this, 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 I don't know if it was for real or if it was fake. Cause it just didn't feel natural. Cause I'm like, why would you lie about something like this? It, it, it just, it just felt weird you know what i'm saying he go drink his beer he go to bed britney wakes up you know and pours beer all over him or whatever after she didn't took the kids and, and, and to her mama house pour beer all over him getting upset at the fact that he lied to her yes be upset but my whole thing is this once he went went on ahead and said that you know yeah i wasn't at jane's house or whatever you know um i went I had a downward streak, okay, I'm losing money, and so what you do when you you need help, or whatever, you go to a professional to help you, and that's what I did. I went to a poker coach to help me out, and she was like, so you've been losing money, now see, I would have caught on to that shit too, that would have made me mad too, right then and there, but my whole thing is this, if you're going to take, if you're going to leave with something out, and you're not going to necessarily tell the whole truth, and it's not really telling the truth, he didn't really lie, he just didn't tell her what was going on. But he did lie about where he was going with the James situation when he was going to the poker coach, okay? And my thing about that is, why not just tell her that I'm going to go to a poker coach right quick, okay? Why you have to lie and say you was going to an actual game? You ain't even, um, you know, because no matter if you on the up street or down street, you should still be trying to, um, you know, sharpen up your skills or whatever. So I was like, she probably would have been like, okay, cool, whatever. She probably would have had a little attitude because she would have wanted you at home. But why you had to lie about going there? I, that's why I was like, what is this? What is this? Is y'all faking the storyline right about now? Because I don't know. I don't know. But whatever. She gets upset. She don't want to stay up in the house with him and all this shit. And I said, girl, get the fuck out of here. You know, she going through her past traumas in life or whatever, what she deal with back in the day. And she said, bitch, I ain't dealing with it now. I said, okay, girl, if that's what you feel, that's what you feel, girl. Do what you got to do, girl. Anyway, moving on from that, let's get to Clint and goddamn Tracy. Okay. Listen, somebody sent me some shit with Clint. I don't know if it was really him, supposedly a Facebook, you know, post of him um, cussing out Tracy and all this shit, you know, just calling her all out, you know, being a meth head and all this shit or whatever. I don't know if it's necessarily true, but um, if that post is really his, but it's really, really sad every time I see them. And at this point, I'm on team mama side, okay? Mama look like she Republican as all hell, all right? But, you know, she probably be the one that I be on her side. Because, listen, mama is the only one that got sense in this family. Mama and daddy at this point. And daddy is so fed up. Daddy don't even want to be on camera at this point, okay? Daddy is like... You know what, son? You're going to do what the fuck you're going to do. And I already told you what it is. And at the end of the day, it's going to be on you. It ain't going to be on me. Mama 
is trying to talk some goddamn sense up into his clan. Clint is over there at the house, you know, um, talking about Tracy ain't been there for the past couple of days or whatever, you know, um, he was like, I just don't know what's going to happen. Mama said, what are you going to do, Clint? Okay, why don't you just let this shit go, all right? I, I, how many times, how much time can you bag and, and, and cry over somebody, okay? How much can you do that for? How many times are you going to do the same things and get the same results, Clint? I, I, I just can't keep on doing it. And then at one point, Mama said, if he picks this girl over them, you know, over his sanity and all this shit, she going to have to fucking back away from the relationship. And to be quite honest, some may think that's a little bit harsh and that Mama doing too much, but Mama sees what the must, the fuck shit is going on, okay? You are dealing with an addict that is not ready to change her ways at this point. And she is bringing turmoil in, into your son's life. Anybody would be protective over their child like this. When they see that they're going through unnecessary bullshit when they don't have to because their heart wants what their heart wants, okay? But you have to think with your mind at this point. Is it fucking worth all this pain and this hurt and this turmoil that you're going through? Like mama said either last week or this week. Before you, um... You you ain't had this much drama and, and, and been through this much bullshit before Tracy came up into your life. And he was like, you know what? You're right. You're right. You're right. And then later on in the episode, you know, Tracy finally got a call. I guess finally got through to him, um, called him or whatever. So she, he knew that she was at the house. And, you know, he's talking to his mom, talking about some of this. And I'm finna go to the crib. I got to check on the dog. Got to check on the cat. You know, the cat just like, y'all left me in the middle of all this bullshit the cat is just fed up get the cat up out of there okay cat, call animal cruelty because i don't know I, i'm scared for the cat i don't even like cats okay uh, call animal cruelty or whatever get peter on the line and get that cat to safety okay because mm, 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 mm. that cat has witnessed some stuff that she he or she should not have witnessed okay you know we need to think about the safety of the animals you know they go up for animals more than they go up for humans but you know what i'm saying we need to think about their safety all right but uh mama said <laughs> mama said you want uh because because clint said listen mama can you take me over there i need a rat you know um tracy didn't reach out and all that shit but really what i need to do is to go check on the cat okay that's what i really need to do Mama said, bitch, first the fuck off. No. <laughs> she said, listen, that's enabling, okay? And I'm not about to enable you anymore, all right? You trying to get a rap for me? You want to go over there and you want to go see that girl? You trying to disguise it as checking it on the animals, all right? No, you want to go over there and see that bitch. That's what you want to do. And it ain't finna happen right about now, okay? I'm not about to enable you. You're going to have to find somewhere else to go. You're going to have to find another way to get that bitch, okay? But, and this is only because Tracy still got his car, okay? Mama was not having it this episode. He go over there to the house and he can't even get into the damn door. He talking about how, bitch, I hear the dryer um, um, going up in the house, bitch. I know you up in there. Open up the fucking door. I said, Clint, where your keys at? She changed the locks on you? Tracy, what's going on? It is a lot. It is a lot. Y'all need to get that shit together and get up off this TV. Anyway, moving on from that, Tony and goddamn Angela. <laughs> Woo, bitch. Girl, let me tell you something. Out of this, we get we got like three threesomes on here, okay? What is with this group activity that's happening, okay? We got three threesomes. We got Tony, Angela, and Tommy. We got Lacey, Shane, and John. And then we got Meg and Sarah and, um, well, that's a foursome now because Maria in the mix. And Michael, bitch, fuck that. We got group sex going on up in this bitch. But, um, anyway... <laughs> Tony and goddamn um um Angela, so they getting ready to go to the store. Angela, listen, girl, mm -mm. you got your new boo, your new flame, the one that got your heart, and you got your best friend who wants your heart going to the store shopping with each other. Bitch, it wouldn't be me. Okay, it wouldn't be me. I said, Angela, you really thought that this was going to work? Because you know that Tommy is a good dude. You know Tommy is the dude, technically speaking, that he should be with you. And to be quite honest, Tommy, you deserve so much better than Angela. You really do. Your soulmate is out there waiting on your ass, okay? They go to the store, um, dress store, trying to get him a suit or whatever. And I was sitting here like, oh, you going to trust his judgment, Tony, okay? And 
at this point, Tony don't even like Tommy because of their first meeting and all that shit. So they up there talking. They go getting dressed and all this shit. He come out in a white suit. And this is for the wedding, talking about something. I don't need no shoes or whatever because we getting married on the beach and all that shit. I was like, whatever, Tony. Okay. And then Tommy took it upon himself because Tommy is fed the fuck up. I said, Tommy, Tommy, you finna give us one? You finna give us one? Tommy said, yeah, bitch. Hold the fuck on. Let me show this shit how I do it. Okay, let me tell you something. At the end of the day, you know I really don't fuck with you like that. But let me tell you what I did. You know I um proposed to Angela before. Okay, I really did. Tony Face was like, bitch, what? Um, uh, motherfucker, what you just say? Yeah, I proposed to her before. I mean, she said no, but you know, the shit was out there. Okay, this ain't the first time she been proposed to or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And you already know how I feel about you. When was this? Oh, it, it, it was before you or whatever. No, no, it can't be because we've been fucking around for like two years or whatever. Okay, so when was this? When was this? It was like, you know, she knew about you. I knew about you. It is what it is. Okay, what you gonna do? Because I do anything, you know, for Angela to make sure she all right. You know what I'm saying? Tommy made sure to tell us, bitch, if it comes down to it, he knows how to fucking defend himself. I said, oh, Tommy, Tommy, you ready to fight for your love for your Angela? Ah, that bitch won't fight for you, but boo-boo, I like you. You will stand up for your woman. I like that. I said, Tommy, mm, okay. I said, Angela, you missing out. You missing out. Okay, how the fuck Angela got two niggas? She got two dudes fighting over her bitch i can't even get one girl what the fuck <laughs> what the fuck girl what am i doing wrong angela teach me okay teach me how but anyway um at the same time um he was like basically i beat your ass if i had to if we want to fight we can fight we can scrap you know because i do whatever i gotta do to protect angela and he said something along the line that made tony said so um you up here t saying this shit like you you ever killed a person and then Tommy was like, no, I never killed a person. And he said, okay, don't say what you can do until you um, know how that feel. All right. And I said, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. The way that Tony said that in his response, I said, Tony, is you um kind of implying that you took somebody out and you on camera and you on parole? Um, is that what I'm hearing? Is that the implication? Did you mean for it to sound like that? Are you snitching on yourself on the cameras? Okay. I'm going to let that go. Girl, they get home. Tony got the nerve to have a fucking attitude. Angela like, baby, what's going on? Okay. And he was like, listen, so you mean to tell me that Tom, um, Tommy proposed to you and you ain't fucking tell me? What type of bullshit is this? Angela is pissed, okay? She like, you know, Tommy is bad, fucked up for telling him this shit or whatever. Trying to fuck up my relationship and all this shit. He had no right to tell him that. And at this point, here go Tony. Tony felt big and bad all of a sudden. He said, bitch, I'm finna be the man of this motherfucking house, okay? Angela been putting her foot down too goddamn long. And it was like, you know what? The man's supposed to be the head of the fucking household, and I'm finna take my power back. Bitch, you ain't fucking around with Tommy no more. You can't be friends with him. You can't see him no more. Fuck that nigga. I said, hold up. Uh, 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 excuse me. Me and Angela said, bitch, first of all, you ain't gonna tell me what the fuck to do. I said, Tony, until you really start paying bills up in that house and your name get on the mortgage, okay, and um, you a provider, provider, bitch, you can't say shit and you living up in that motherfucker rent free, you can't say fucking shit and give her a fucking ultimatum. How dare you come in and tell her who the fuck she can and can't talk to? Nigga, she, all she got to do is call your parole officer and your ass back in jail or you out on the fucking street, bitch. Okay? Get the fuck up out of here. He was like, you up here getting mad at me, giving me ultimatums and all this shit. And meanwhile, you got niggas proposing to you and all this shit. She said, bitch, how dare you fucking try to compare that to what your ass been doing? You out here fucking prostitutes, bitch. I ain't out here fucking no prostitutes. Me and Tommy ain't never had fucking sex. I said, Angela, go off. And I said, bitch, for what? You going off for what? You ain't going to do what he say, but you still going to keep him around. Girl, come on. Tony must got some good dick because I just don't see it. All right. Y'all be sucking on each other's titties. I understand. I understand. I like the feeling too. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Moving on from that, uh, I don't have time for them. Sean. <sighs> Shane. Lacey. And John. Okay. John. You know, um. I just, 
I'm getting them out the way early because they really ain't got much to them. Because Lacey, listen, girl, you're going to wind up getting your ass fucked up. All right. You really are. And um, we're going to sit here and we're going to watch it and we're going to be like, told you so. Because this is what you want. You are playing a dangerous game with these men. Okay? Men can be volatile as hell. You don't know. And especially the motherfuckers that's been locked up. Bitch, cage animals just popping out. Okay? And you playing a fucking deadly game with both of these motherfuckers. Okay? It, 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 it ain't cute, mama. It ain't cute. Shane and Daddy is outside trying to put this goddamn trampoline together for your fucking kids. Not his, but your fucking kids, to be quite honest, if we want to take it there. And you is up here talking about some, you know, um, I can't believe that I got married. I can't believe <laughs> that I got married to Shane and that he did this stuff to me. And it's like, if he wants to play a game... I could play a game too. I'm good at games. John, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, John. What are you doing? <laughs> Yo, I'm out here, you know, working and shit or whatever. That's when I'm all up to. Okay. Oh my god, you look so good. Like, it's really hot. Like, oh my god, look at your sweat and everything. Mind you, Daddy and Shane in the backyard. She is FaceTiming John. Okay, meanwhile, she t chatting it up with him. She was like, oh, my God, take your shirt off. He was like, listen, look, you like this? Oh, yeah, daddy, I like that, babe. Babe, babe, do you like this? Do you like this, these titties? Yeah, mama, you look good as shit. You look good than a bitch up in this motherfucker. I'm sitting here like, y'all finna have phone FaceTime sex right about now. John, you still on the motherfucking clock. Lacey, your people outside. Where the kids at? Okay, I said I wanted one of them kids to walk in and say, Mommy, who the fuck you talking to? Why is your areola out? Because, baby, they had to bleep them. Them areolas were showing. I said, girl, you's a fucking mess, okay? And he up there talking about some. So don't you think it's time to get this motherfucker up out the picture? You shouldn't have married that bitch. I said, uh-oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Listen. You like playing games, Lacey. That game gonna come back and bite you in the motherfucking ass, okay? Listen, if you did not want Shane, why you still got him around? Granted, like you said, you the one that... I the one that did all of this stuff for him, okay? I brought this stuff. I brought this house, all right? You know, he just living here with, with rent free and everything. I said, bitch, that's you. You did this. At the end of the day, Lacey, you brought all this shit on yourself, okay? Including the cheating, to be quite honest. Because a part of me feel like Shane cheated on your ass because he got getting back because you played him. Because he had no idea about John, that he was still in the picture. And not only was he in the picture, but you was engaged to him, okay? I feel like this your get back. I don't even feel sorry. They go upside your head. You know, that's kind of fucked up. But, um... I ain't an advocate for that domestic violence. I'm be like, you should never put your hands on a woman. But, bitch, look at the situation there. No, you should never put your hands on anybody in a relationship, man or woman. I'm going to get to that in a second because, um, no, let's go back. Because, um, you know, uh, what's that girl named Brittany? You ain't have to slap Marcelino like that. Now, if he would have hauled off and hit your ass back, you couldn't say nothing because you provoked that shit because you hit him first, okay? I'm just saying that keep your motherfucking hands to yourself in relationships, period, okay? Stop that. Domestic violence happens on both ends. It ain't just men beating up on women. It's women beating up on their partners, too. Okay? We have to stop that. Keep our hands to our fucking self. Moving on from now. Lacey, girl, whatever happens, happens. Moving on from that. Andre and goddamn Lamar. Um. <laughs> a mess. Okay? That's all I can say. A mess. All right? Listen. Everybody has sense except for... Andrea. I don't understand it, okay? And let me tell you something. Sometimes crazy is cute. I get it. But your type of crazy, it's not. It's not. It's pathetic at this point. Because you are basically formulating these ideas in your head and making yourself go crazy. Girl, Lamar is sitting on a chair, you know, in the living room where he been sleeping at the whole time he been there and um listening to some music or whatever, probably fixing his beats and all that shit, whatever. Somebody knock at the door and Lamar said, come on in. 
The door is unlocked. I said, bitch, what? I don't give a fuck if we in Utah. I don't give a fuck. No, Lamar, you from Compton or wherever the fuck you from. You from fucking L.A., bitch. We like doors, okay? Lock the fucking doors. We don't trust people enough like that, bitch. No. And Michelle came in. Now, see, Michelle, my good girlfriend, I like her. You know what I'm saying? Because Michelle going to give it to you raw. She going to give it to you the way that you need to give it to her. No sugar coating at all, okay? He was. She was like, what's up, Lamar? He said, oh, you know, you looking for Andrea? She downstairs, you know, or whatever, where she been at, upstairs or down, upstairs or whatever the fuck. Bitch, she go up there. Why is Andrea laying up in the bed, you know, eating a whole bunch of Godiva chocolates? Okay, first of all, you got the good shit. All right, that shit ain't cheap. I said, okay, cool. Uh, what's what's the problem? What's the problem? Michelle looking like, bitch, what's the problem? She was like, what you doing? I'm just sitting here eating chocolate. You want some chocolate? Michelle said, bitch, I don't want no damn chocolate. What the fuck is going on with you? Listen, girl. It's just been a mess ever since Lamar got here. You know, uh, the situation that went down recently was the fact that, you know, I found some condoms up in his pocket, in his jacket. And was like, oh, was they his condoms? I mean, he said that they weren't his condom. He said that they were his brother's condom. Now, I'm expecting Michelle to be like, that's a motherfucking lie. Michelle like, okay, tell me more, you know. And she was like, you know, and, and at first I believed him. I really did because I seen his brother wear his coat all the time like that. But then I'm like, every time I, I'm, I'm thinking now, like, every time I used to call him, it'd be some girls in the background or whatever. Even if they in the studio, as he claimed, it'd be girls in the background. You know, it could be like he fucking around with prostitutes. And when she said that shit, Michelle said, bitch, if you don't shut the fuck up up with that bullshit now girl you 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 really tried it first you said you believed him now you saying it's some he might be fucking around with prostitutes girl that man ain't doing shit okay he ain't fucking around on you with nothing i said oh i like the way michelle came to lamar a and it wasn't necessarily that she was coming to his side it's just that she know her friend is full of shit she even said um andrea is the type of bitch that'll just formulate and let her imagination run fucking wild and formulate all these situations and do extra shit okay michelle goes downstairs to talk to lamar you love her did you cheat on her yes i love her no i never cheated on her and i just want my family back she was he, she was like i don't know how y'all doing this separate shit okay you can't have no family like that i know i know and i just want my family back that's all i want so later on andrea takes lamar to this place where she always goes it was a beautiful little backdrop looking at the mountains and shit and basically having this conversation about you know what they want to do and how they can continue to live separately and you know put it up for a vote as to whether or not they're going to um, stay in L.A. or stay in Utah. And they apologized, or at least Lamar apologized, and they was on good terms for them. I was like, it's about damn time. And I was like, they cute together, but god damn, Andrea, stop fucking this shit up. Because that man really do love your ass. <laughs> Simple, <laughs> funny as it may seem, okay, he really do love your ass. Stop fucking up the situation, girl. Anyway... Now, let's get to this bullshit that is Megan, Sarah, Maria, and motherfucking Michael, okay? Sarah, you fucked the flow up. Everybody's name started up with a fucking M, and you come in with an S. Goddamn. But anyway. Okay. So, this is what happened, right? Maria in her feelings, okay? Because when we first see everything go down, we see Michael coming out the house, right? Mind you, Michael told Maria that, you know, he was going to stay over with Aviana and um, other girl, well, the pretty girls, my pretty girls, you know what I'm saying? Um, and Sarah was going to go out, so she wasn't going to be in the house or whatever. And I said, Maria, you dumb as shit. Now, see, he got him a gullible-ass dumb old bitch, okay? Listen. Maria, girl, you stupid as shit. I'm, I'm, you too, you too old to be this stupid, okay? Girl, you probably let men walk all the fuck over you. And truth be told, she probably only liked this because she probably never thought that she can get a young dude, a young dude. She a cougar up in this bitch. You can't tell me no difference, okay? Um, listen, Michael come out the house. It's 11:30 the next day. 
Okay, mind you, he told Maria that he was going to be back before then. Okay, Maria calling and all this stuff. And then when he finally get to the hotel, Maria upset. Why the fuck you ain't call me? Okay, listen, I know you seen my phone calls. You seen my text messages. It's almost 12 o'clock in the uh, afternoon and you just not getting back. Why the fuck you didn't call me? Bang, you know, shit was down or whatever. And I, I mean, I seen your text and all that stuff, but I didn't know that you really called me and all that shit until I went to get the Uber and everything. Now, when he starts seeing that, he gets a phone call from Megan. He don't answer the phone. He just clicked it off. Okay, why she's still calling you? I don't know, but you know, it is what it is. It's all about you, okay? It's all about you. You know what I'm saying? Come on, ma, mama, bubba, baby, boo-boo. I said, what is with these pet names that he be calling? Don't call me no shit like that, okay? Don't do no shit like that. I don't find that shit attractive. In this situation, I was looking at Maria like, you too damn old, okay? You too damn old to be finding, be falling for this bullshit. And then going to say, I mean, I trust you. I trust you that you ain't do nothing. Okay. Michael claims that he didn't do nothing. You know, Megan didn't leave the house or whatever. I mean, not Megan, but Sarah, you know, they didn't sleep in the bed or nothing together. They didn't do anything. He was with his kid. Meanwhile, Sarah is like, so what happened was Michael slept up in the room with Avion or whatever. I slept up in my room and that's what happened. We didn't do anything. And that's what it. Let me cut the bullshit. Truth be told, it was no sleeping going on. As soon as them kids went to bed, bitch, we was fucking. I said, Sarah, we already fucking know. Thanks for telling us the truth, okay? We understand because Michael lied too damn much. We already fucking know. We saw through that shit. She said, at the end of the day, that's my motherfucking man. He's still my goddamn husband. Through papers, um, yeah. Legally, yeah. So I guess, you know what I'm saying? And if we want to have some fun and talk and catch some vibes or whatever, we going to have some fun, talk and catch some vibes, and I'm going to catch his dick all up in my throat and my puss and whatever other hole he want to put it in okay because that's how i was feeling last night and i let him have free reign i said well damn sarah you know what if you want to be dumb and fall for this bullshit go ahead and do that shit okay um next thing you know um you know sarah was saying how he was supposed to be coming down there to talk um you know play with aviana before he leave and all that shit um take her out for ice cream and that never happened Pause right there, okay? While they in the hotel room, he getting all oiled up and greased up or whatever, and he getting ready in the bathroom, he keep on getting these phone calls from Megan. He was like, I ain't spoke to Megan in a little bit because, you know, I, I'm the type of dude that, you know, I get interested in a girl and I start talking to her, and then I keep another one on the side or whatever just in case I lose interest and I got this other thing going. So he admitting that he's playing these women for his own benefit, to be quite honest. As soon as he get bored with one, he's going to go fuck around with the other and then it's gonna keep on going like that he always got one in his back pocket next thing you know he was like yo baby i'm gonna go outside take a smoke break right quick she was like all right you know um she all up in her feelings about you know sarah and she said all this shit about you know sarah she too this and she too that i said bitch you need to shut the fuck up first of all and you need to take your ass back to florida and go take care of your goddamn grandkids and make sure they together okay that's what you need to fucking do because you can't tell me maria ain't got no grandkids okay she look like she got at least two you know what i'm saying stop it you know uh, moving on from that, Michael go outside. Who he on the phone with? He FaceTiming motherfucking Megan. Megan said she on the way to the studio to drop these hits and all this shit or whatever. I'm trying to understand why you ain't talking to me like it's been forever. He was like, you know, some shit came up and I ain't had time and all that shit. But listen, don't even fucking worry about it. I'm going to be down there to see you or whatever. Don't trip. Don't trip. I'm dead ass serious. I said, bitch, <laughs> you fucking with. No, 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 no. You bring Maria down, you fucking her, you fuck with your baby mama, and now you making plans to go to Texas to fuck with Megan. God damn, bitch. I hope all of y'all are tested for STDs, god damn it, bitch. And I hope y'all ain't doing raw sex and being dumb as here. Well, Megan, you had a fucking scare, so we know that you doing raw, you dumb bitch, okay? Moving on from that, you know, she go, he go back up in the hotel room. Maria want to understand what took you so goddamn long, okay? Man, I was sm smoking some cigarettes i kind of smoke too next thing you know he kissing her with them cigarette smoke bruh i said bitch you just smoked the cigarette uh don't do that y'all be nasty okay uh-uh don't 
don't do that shit because I don't want to, like, your tongue going to be up in my mouth anyway. I'm going to be tasting your flu. Girl, no, I don't want that shit. That's nasty, okay? You only shotgun me with some weed and then we can go from there. But nicotine from the cigarette, that's nasty as fuck, okay? Don't do no shit like that. If I can't get no rush from it and I can't get high off of it, don't do no shit like that with me, okay? That's disgusting. Moving on from that. Sarah is up in her feelings, okay? Because it's later on that night. You know, Michael told um, Maria, so what we're going to do is, you know, we're going to kick it. And then I'm going to take you home. We're going to go to the airport. You're going to go home. I'm going to go back down to Michigan get some things, you know, figured out and all that shit. And then, you know, I, I talk to you and see what's up, okay? You go home. She was like, okay, Danny. You know, Sarah took it upon herself to come down there to the hotel because Michael didn't show up. Sarah, bitch, if that's what you want to use, bitch, you wanted to be fucking messy and you wanted to see who the fuck this bitch is that Michael was fucking around with. That's all that it was. Now, Sarah just so happened to pull up in the parking lot and conveniently, the producers told goddamn Michael and Maria to go outside at this particular moment. And Michael was caught off guard. When he saw that Sarah was up in the um, parking lot and called his name, he looking like, bitch, what the fuck? Bitch, before Michael could even say anything, you know, he in the confessional talking about something, I don't like when people just pop up on me. Bitch, what the fuck? Shut up. Okay, here comes Maria. Who the fuck is you, bitch? You need to take your ass out because I know how the fuck you work, Sarah. I know how the fuck you work, bitch. You need to get your ass up out of here, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. He ain't even your man no more. Okay, and Okay, and That's your husband. Who gives a fuck, bitch? That's my husband, though. Who gives the fuck bitch this my motherfucking man bitch okay and i said right in front of the goddamn door now what we saw on the preview that we thought was gonna happen in this episode one of the little hotel managers gonna come out and say not right here okay yeah he was about to call the cops sarah was trying to tell michael to get his ass up in the goddamn car we'll see that next week because we only got two more episodes left girl i said what in the fucking world I said, not in front of the hotel, Michael, you arguing with a white bitch with a Mexican, a, a Latina on the, on your arm that could pass for white bitch until she opened up her motherfucking mouth in front of this white establishment, and you a nigga that just got out of jail, boy, if you don't get your ass out somewhere, <laughs> it's a mess. Anyway, that was love at the lockup. Y'all tell me how y'all felt about it. A fucking mess. Uh, hopefully these next two episodes give us everything we fucking want and, 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 and need and then some, okay? Because they said it's going to be explosive. It better be explosive, all right? Because I'm looking forward to it. Y'all tell me how y'all feel and I will see you guys later. Peace.